Hey, howdy, hello. The vinyl shootout shelf has been filling up for quite a while, and I gotta tell you about some of these because it really is amazing, the deviations between some of these pressings. Plus, it's just cool to check them out. Support the artists, support the, the record stores. Talk about the music we love. This was my album of the year, 2019. I gotta say, every single pressing of this does sound really, really good. There's some slight differences, so we'll get into those. It's a little bit of a different time for James Blake. You know, this was pre-pandemic, 2019, it came out. Um, and it was a lot about his interpersonal struggle when you deal with anxiety crippling anxiety and he's talked talked about it in depth in some uh, in some amazing interviews and the music really does speak to that you know this is one that i was spinning uh, at night overnight to sleep in 2019 just because it it really has like healing vibrations in it or something i don't know what he did or what he captured but it, it really is um it was healing it was healing for me struggling with anxiety in that year in particular and thankfully it's been <laughs> it's been better ever since, so I don't know. Do I do I owe James Blake for therapy costs? Either way. I'll show you up close each of the four press. The beautiful and distinct differences between all the pressings after play testing. Every single one all the way through. Every single possible difference. Visually to to the actual graph, to the dynamics, to the bass. The good news is all of these sound generally excellent. But there's some slight differences, so I want to talk about them. It's amazing the differences between these. I mean, right off the bat, just the loudness between the UK pressings and the American pressings, but that's because the US pressings use a different mastering as denoted by mastered by capital and the dead wax on those. But this is the UK black. Dynamics are insane. Um, beautiful crispy treble, nice <laughs> deep defined bass, and you're splitting hairs in the dynamic area. You really are. I mean, going back and forth between these, Bass is exactly the same. Anything low mids to bass, uh, you're dealing with the same thing. The reflection will go away. It's the only problem with having these these jackets on him. You can really see the definition on his shirt. Really nice printed jacket on the UK versions versus just to demonstrate the US one. Um, yeah, you I mean you can see it, but there's definitely a more faded finish. And this stripe right this here, stripe right here is not even visible. It's really the only jacket difference. The rest of it's the same. It's cool that the labels have the explosion. All of them have it. The, the B and the D. Orange is the B. Green is the D. Can you guess which one's which? UK, US. Man, this stripe over here on the on the UK one almost looks purple. So strong. Uh, U.S. has the same hype sticker, though. In other uh, shootout videos, I've noticed how U.K. pressings are more saturated on the jacket than the U.S. Not so on this case. This one is actually more saturated for some reason than this one, but this one is slightly brighter and just has the correct printing bias on it, which is wild. Subtle differences. I would say less contrast, but sharper. <laughs> That was the UK black. This is the UK dark green, not to be confused with the US light green. As you can see, slight deviation of color. Well, slight deviation in color. Yeah, you can kind of see there. Dark green, light green. Things to note in the dark green, it's not going to say mastered by capital. Instead, everything's going to be etched. There's a bunch of random numbers and letters and it will have that darker bias. That sounds amazing. That's what I was gonna look at the waveform. Same bass and dynamics. <laughs> Beautiful, clean, open, really revealing presence to it. We'll see if we can get the US loud up, up to the same loudness and hope it still has the same dynamics. We'll find out. But definitely an amazing pressing. It really matches, really matches the jacket. I'll go ahead and
That's definitely darker. U.S., U.K. U.S. Black. First pressing that I bought directly from a local record shop. Really enjoyed it. Um, mastered by Capital in the Dead Wax, but now after A being it, not a lot of nice things to say. Immediate surface noise jumped in there. Other than that, it still is a very clean listen, not as loud. <laughs> Uh, I noticed that right away, even before A being them visually noticing it, but, um, and maybe slightly softer dynamics. And, um, we'll see if we can get the loudness up and see how much, how many dynamics are lost, but, um, by no means mediocre, definitely weaker though. Some rare pops, very rare pops, not, no major issues at all. And I'm wondering if it just needs another clean, uh, with those pops because still an enjoyable listen. Nice and clean as it is, but um, after hearing the UKs, it's time to hunt down a good UK. You're just not getting, you know, maybe the weakness is you're just not getting those nice uh, vocals and nids that jump out so sweetly in like the dark green or the, the black EU. But, um, and, and yeah, a little bit of surface noise versus the zero noise that was in the dark green. The bass is good. I mean, like... The bass was really resonant. I think the weakest part was the dynamics. Lastly, super cool, bright green. Light green. Regular green. Non-deep, non-dark green. Still deep, but not dark. Bright green American. Um, the, the treble was clean if we peer back at the dynamics. Like even with the little embellishments with the piano and the uh, that percussion hits or the synth lines it still hits in the treble um again you're just losing a few dynamics but um throughout the whole listen almost no surface noise infrequent ticks maybe um still not as quiet as the uk pressings which uh kudos to those for being the quietest i mean again splitting hairs between the green and the black on surface noise it's not yeah it's not even worth debating which one's quieter they're both the same these two the same deal i would probably give the cleaner surface noise less surface noise um to the 180 gram black and possibly dynamics to the black as i'm zooming into the waveform just a little bit sharper um Still the cheapest pressing, best value if you're just trying to get something to spin that sounds decent. Not bad at all for this one. <laughs> Again, for the fact that this album is filled to the brim, to the edge on, on both discs with very, very little surface noise. To speak of, is good. Better than a lot of my colored pressings that I have. Or just inferior pressings in general of so many albums. This is really well done. Again, splitting hairs. But the, the winners are definitely the UK ones. Maybe props to the limited green one for sounding as good uh, and being a colored, colored variant, the dark green. Definitely my favorite. Oh, okay. Well, here's your answer on dynamics. Yeah, you're splitting hairs on dynamics once again. Yeah, maybe the edge being the 180 gram. You're not gonna notice 0.1 of a dB. They're basically the same dynamically. Did look like there was more surface noise zooming in in between on the light green. Yeah, little little ticks uh, <laughs> that go up right before it enters the song. And yeah, the, how much exactly? I mean, I could normal. I split it and normalize it and find out. Minus 15 dB to the to the loudest point of A2. So. Do with that what you will. Just interesting to kind of look actually at the physical waveform just to see uh, how much is actually going on. That's why I wanted to pop open the frequency analyzer and, and actually look at it. Again, splitting hairs though.
that was really fun. Thanks for checking that out with me. Let's go over here. That's the idea of assumed form. It's leaving that space where you feel those feelings, think those thoughts, and you enter a space where you become your best self. Or I think some of the lyrics talk about giving in or taking over or surrender to. Which is kind of what music does to you uh, in, the, in the physical vibrational sense. But parallels to love sort of midway through the album, but toward the end, it, um, power on. That was my least favorite song starting out turned into my favorite one just because it feels so free it feels so light and airy uh with some of the little embellishments um power on is the moment that you choose to go from either you choose or someone takes you out of the space through their love takes you out of that space into a place where you can assume form and be your best self which is what you want in your life uh, don't miss it. I mean, talking about it is easy to miss it in some moments where you feel overwhelmed with some of this stuff going on. But in a lot of ways, that spoke to what happened in the few years that followed 2019, 2020, 2021. So it impacted me in several ways. But I will say the absolute biggest way musically, it's James Blake capturing what we loved about the experimental stuff of his previous work in a way that not only translate to pop R&B, alternative, whatever you want to call it, but also translates in the ambient, chill electronic, chill trap track, like um, <laughs> Mile High with Travis Scott. I, I really think that that's my favorite Travis Scott song. <laughs> and it's a James Blake song. I mean, Andre 3000 of Outkast on here. I think it's just so many elements coming together that just work. And they press it on really good vinyl. Uh, 180 gram is the only format of the originals that you can get it on. Not sure about repress. I can only talk about what I know. So yeah, James started exploring some other concepts and ideas in future in the future album, Friends of Break Your Heart. And uh, there are elements I didn't, I enjoyed of that. I mean, Rick Rubin had him on his podcast. I totally forgot about that. Rick Rubin was talking about how James Blake is one of his favorite artists for many reasons. But I think one of them was just because of how much James Blake stands out and is not afraid to experiment with sounds just beyond what you're accustomed to hearing and he does it in such a pleasant ambient soothing soothing way that's the best way to describe it i've been struggling to dive into this genre more because the stuff in the pop r&b world doesn't quite sound like this is not as chill and the chill like ambient stuff doesn't have enough like touch and emotion and love in it it's just kind of background and this captures both of those elements perfectly love this genre love this artist and love you thank you for sticking with me checking out this uh vinyl shootout i don't have to convince you to buy this because uh if you made it this far you know why you love this album so don't be shy feel free to stick around like i always say there's more vinyl shootouts to come more music talks I'll go ahead and mention some of the other things that are around the corner. Wilco, Yankee Hotel, Foxtrot, that is next in the queue. Every single pressing of it, plus the record store day one that's coming in a month from when this video is being recorded. Ugh, I'm trying to go back and order my favorite albums of the year, so the one after 2019 would be 2018. Low Moon self-titled album. I'm going to talk about every pressing of that. I'm going to talk about 2017. Phoebe Bridger's Stranger in the Alps. What an amazing album, am I wrong? Like, did she not just, like, indie rock for the ages, indie folk for the ages, but also 2015. I'm still hunting it. We're going to talk about Kendrick Lamar. This is the first time I've talked about it. We're going to talk about Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly. I'm going to hunt down the vinyl pressings. I know they all sound great. I think there's some slight deviations between them. I will probably aim to do that video when the 10th anniversary comes out in a couple years because it doesn't make sense to <laughs> to review it and then have to do another review re 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 review in 2025 but there's tons of albums i'm gonna have to get to between now and then which is oh did i skip 2016 yeah 2016 is pine groves cardinal got every pressing of that love to talk about that band that band never ceases to amaze me how much they've honed that sound and really stand out in a lane that sounds very similar, even if it's, you know, embellishing and taking from a uh, an alt country sound that was popular a couple decades ago. I think they do it really well. Also gonna talk about Tycho. I talked about a repressing of simulcast a long, long, long time ago, but we're gonna talk about Awake, which came out in 2014. 
Dive, which they did a repress of not but a couple months ago now. We're going to talk about it first and maybe some other ones because Tycho's like one of my all-time, if not my all-time favorite artists, definitely an electronic favorite artist. So we'll get to him. Oh, we got the new Boy Genius album coming out. I got a repressing of that coming. We're just happy to be here, really. Yeah, I mean, we're just we're just loving being out here. We're just taking it uh, one spin at a time. We're enjoying it. <laughs> we're, we're loving assuming form. Well, we're going to keep on assuming a form. And we're going to keep on grooving your way.